Okay, so we are going to pour a set of geode coasters today. I already have all my paints mixed up. I'm just going to, um, I just have one more to do and it's going to be the purple that I mixed with the artist loft from Michaels. So I've already got it here, um, but this isn't like mixed up at all. It's just the, the red and the blue together. So you can see it's still thick. So what I use is the Artist Loft Red, and so I just put it right into my cup, like so. And then I need the blue, same thing, Artist Loft. So I don't have a specific ratio that I do. Um, I just mix it until it's the color that I want it to be. So if I need to add more red or more blue, then I do that. Okay, so then I'm going to take my Lineco Bookbinders glue and I put just a tiny bit you know so like I don't even know how much it is tiny bit <laughs> mix that in And then I take my Floetrol, which has already been strained. You can see how I do that in one of my recent videos, my previous videos. Just make sure you scrape the sides and the bottom. Mix it thoroughly, check the consistency. So you can see that consistency. It's better, but I don't know why my camera keeps refocusing. Sorry about that. I thought I fixed that, but apparently I didn't. So if anybody knows how to do that, I'm just on my Samsung Galaxy S9, I think it is. So I thought I was supposed to hit that AF symbol on the screen. I did that, but it's still, I know that stands for autofocus, but I thought that was supposed to make it, I don't know. I don't know anything. <laughs> I'm just winging it when it comes to doing these videos. I just didn't want to have to learn it all for teaching. I just want to teach. Okay, so this consistency, you want it to be the consistency of warm honey. So, this is still oh, like a little thick. So I might add in just a little bit more flow trial. So I decided to go with painting the purple geode coasters because it'll show up really nice on the camera. Doing black or white, or even gold, it probably won't show up that well on camera. They're super beautiful in person, but I'm not sure they'll show up, so I think purple will show up pretty well. There, that looks better. Okay. So the rest of the colors that I'm using, like the, the gray that I'll have, um, is just Artist Loft black and white mixed. Um, and then the silver is Artist Loft. But then all the purples are either folk art or deco art. I won't say all the names of them because, I mean, it's just 
purple in those brands. Like, you know, do your own thing, figure out your own color combo of purples. So these are my tiles. I just got them from underneath my um, table here. And so this is this is the only thing I do before I paint on them is I I sweat them on my pants. I mean, like if they're actually dirty, then I would clean them, of course, but they're not. I, so I just get off any dust that there could possibly be on there. So I'm, I have got four tiles. So they're all out in front of me here. And now, well, I also need white. Make sure my white is mixed up. So some of these paints, like this gray here, I have had that one covered up with, um, show you what I cover them up with, what is like hanging up here. So this is Glad Press and Seal. This is what I cover them up with. And so it just kind of makes a seal around the edge of the cup. And this gray I've had maybe a, like a month and it was totally fine. I just mixed it up and it was good to go again. So as long as you have a real tight seal on there, then it'll be good to go for quite a long time. You might have to add some Floetrol if you let it sit for too long. Um, but if you have enough paint in the cup, it'll last for quite a while. So you don't have to worry about using all your paint up right away. Um, and then you can be prepared for the next time you use that color. So. Uh, what we're going to do is start layering the purples and the silvers in the cup. So this is a Dixie cup. It's been used 800 times approximately. <laughs> it's actually two Dixie cups stacked together because when you very first start using them, for like the very first time you use them, it's just paper so it's kind of thin. So you need to, the paint actually creates a, like a plastic barrier, you know, for lack of a better term, um, a paint barrier so that it doesn't like leak through the cup. So it, it, these actually work better once you've used them a bunch and um, you know there's enough of a layer of paint in there, it works really nice. So first I'm gonna take my purple that I just mixed up, since I have the most of that one, put that in the cup first. Put a little bit more. And then I start getting down a pattern that I want, like an order of um, paints, like how I want to drop them in the cup so that to get the right design. And I kind of have to play with this each time I do a set because I kind of forget every time. I have all my colors written down that I want to use for this set, but I kind of forget the order and maybe I should write the order. That would be a good thing to do. <laughs> Um, oh, and this is freezer paper. I always use this under when, whenever I do a set of coasters. Um, this is also what I pour on, like on my Instagram when I, you know, have different pours um, or just like a close-up of a cool looking painting. It's usually on a piece of freezer paper because that's how I make my um, jewelry, which, you know, maybe someday I'll go into that. But for now it's going to be painting coasters and actual paintings and stuff. So. Uh, maybe someday with the jewelry. So I'm going to layer gray next. And I'm going to go with a metallic y purple. I always give them a little shake before I pour them in the cup. That one's a little thick. I'm actually going to put some more Floetrol. Oh, I like filled up the container. I'm going to do a little bit more matte. I like the um, contrast. That one's kind of thick too, actually. I like to get contrast, so I like to use uh, like a metallic and then a matte. And then, a, you know, like a lighter and then a darker contrast. And then I'm going to put silver on top of that purple. I know you can't really see what I'm doing right now, but I'm 
Larian and Silver. And they're all just kind of right on top of each other. I don't know if you can see that yet. I'll show it in a little bit again. similar so I'm gonna try to not put that one in that order next time. This purple again. Then I'm gonna do my silver, another silver. I get a good order down, then I can just go bam, 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 right in order, which is nice. All right, so I'll do that one first next time. So now I've got my first tile. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the white and cover the tile in the white. This allows the paint to just have a, a like a slippery surface to glide on so the paint doesn't get stuck and not want to move and then like kind of fold over itself. If you do this kind of painting, you know exactly what I mean. Um, you need something to, a little layer down to give it something to glide on. So now, getting all the dried paint off my freezer paper. Now. I'm going to start the geode, so I'm going to go, I'm sorry if you maybe won't be able to see this, I'm not sure, we'll see. Um, I start in the center, and then I just go outwards. Make sure you cover the sides. the corners I should say there so now now I have to tilt so I always tilt towards me first and then away make sure it goes over the edges and then back to center and then to the right And then to the left. And then whatever side looks the coolest, I try to expand that side. So this side, the top to you guys looks the coolest. So I'm really going to try to expand that. But I still try to keep most of the, mostly circular because that's kind of more geode more of a geode look. I want to have that center intact. And then I just take, shoot, sorry, somebody let me know how to keep that from happening, <laughs> the focus. And I wipe the bottom and put it right back in that cup. Use that same cup. Make sure I get the bottom covered pretty well so then I don't have to repaint the bottom and that, then that saves me a little time. Because if there's an open spot where I can see the tile on the bottom, I don't like that and then I paint over it. And that's just an extra step. So that's how that one turned out. Freshly painted. I'd like a little bit more dark, 
So we'll try to make that happen next time. So let's start the next one. So again, I'm actually going to start with a different color purple for my first one. Oh, and I never showed you what the cup looked like at the end. I'll do it this time. I hope I remember. It's a little bit darker, so I put a little bit more in there. And we're going to do gray. Just a little bit. I don't want a whole lot of gray. And this purple. I'm actually going to put the silver in now. And then I'm going to put, oh, it just got paint all over my face. Can you see it? It's like in my eye. I'm not editing this. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to go a little bit darker because I wanted a little bit more contrast, and that's my darkest purple. I'm going to go with this sparkly purple, and this, silver, dark again. too thick. And with the silver. Okay. There we go. I just hit that close bar. Dang it. Um, okay, so I'm going to cover it in white again. me to pay attention to what I'm doing sometimes when I'm trying to look at the camera too. If any of you tried to record yourself while doing this, you probably understand. You're so used to doing this on your own by yourself and then you're trying to like talk to yourself slash everybody at the same time and then weird stuff starts happening. Nothing too bad's happened. I haven't knocked anything off the cup or anything. No, I'm sure it'll happen. If it does, oh well, I'll learn. Okay, so here I've got the white. Oh, this is what the cup looks like. Isn't that pretty? How much time do I have left? I can't see. Okay. So, start in the center. Corners. All right, this one's going to be awesome. I can already tell. So, tilt it towards me. And then away. to center, to the right, and to the left. And then I make sure that whatever part looks the coolest, I try to exaggerate that a little bit, which it usually ends up being that top part for some reason. Ooh, there we go. That's perfect. And I wipe down the bottom. Put it 
right back into that same cup. This one is freaking gorgeous. Pardon my French. So if you watch this and end up trying it, um, please post on Instagram and tag me in it. Or like put my name in the in your description or whatever. I think it tags me then. Um, I would love to see how your geode turns out. Or if you come up with a different way and just use this as inspiration. I still, I really want to see it. If you do something different, I want to see it even more because that's awesome. You know, being original is great. Learn from others, but then put your own spin on it. It's my best advice. So, here's how that one turned out. So I will um, do two more, but I won't record because my camera's gonna, or my phone camera thing is gonna run out of space for my phone. I almost just dropped that. Oh, see what I mean about recording? I just had a mini heart attack. Um, anyways, what was I saying? Oh yeah, so I'm gonna just paint two more of these. They're gonna be done exactly the same way, but now you know how I do it. If there's anything that I didn't cover, um, just feel free to leave a comment and ask me your questions, um, or you can comment on the post that I'll end up putting on Instagram um, and ask me your questions there, and I will be sure to answer all of your questions. Um, and thank you for watching. And, oh. I want to show you what they look like when they're done with resin and everything. Here's one that's done with resin. Or, you know, has a layer of resin on it. It's done exactly the way I'm doing it right now, but it says the layer of resin on. And it's, see, it's just a piece of tile. I don't have the cork on here yet. I just finished these a couple days ago. So that's how it'll dry. Isn't that cool? So pretty. All right, thank you for watching, and I'll be making more videos soon, so please subscribe and like and comment and all that good stuff. Thank you. Bye.